everyone. Today we're talking about holiday history. Specifically Mardi Gras, because today is Mardi Gras. Yay! Or at least it is when I'm filming this. If I post it up later than when it actually is, I'm sorry. Okay. So let's get into it. What is Mardi Gras? Mardi Gras is a Christian holiday and popular cultural phenomenon that dates back thousands of years to pagan spring and fertility rites. When Christianity arrived in Rome, religious leaders decided to incorporate these popular local traditions into the new faith, which was easier than just abolishing them all together, which is true. When is Mardi Gras? Mardi Gras is traditionally celebrated the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday and the start of Lent. In many areas though, Mardi Gras has evolved into a week-long festival. The 2019 Mardi Gras is today, March 5th, 2019, and the 2020 Mardi Gras is on February 25th, 2020. Where is it celebrated? Mardi Gras is celebrated in many countries around the world. Most famously, the U.S. is New Orleans Mardi Gras on the day before the religious season of Lent begins. So, what does Mardi Gras mean exactly? Well, Mardi is the French word for Tuesday, and Gras means fat, exactly translating into Fat Tuesday. In France, the day before Ash Wednesday came to be known as Mardi Gras, or Fat Tuesday, and traditionally, in the days leading up to Lent, merrymakers would binge on all the rich fatty foods, i.e. meat, eggs, milk, lard, cheese, that remained in their homes in preparation for the several weeks of only eating fish and different types of fasting that happens during Lent. Mardi Gras in America. The first Mardi Gras in America took place on March 3rd, 1699, when French explorers Pierre de la Monde de Iberville and Sieur de Bienville landed near present-day New Orleans, Louisiana. They held a small celebration and dubbed their landing spot Pointe du Mardi Gras. In the decades that followed, New Orleans and other French settlement settlements began marking the holiday with street parties, masked balls, and lavish dinners. When the Spanish took control of New Orleans, they abolished these rowdy rituals, and the bans were made in force until Louisiana became a U.S. state in uh, 1812. On Mardi Gras in 1827, a group of students donned colorful costumes and danced through the streets of New Orleans. And ten years later, the first recorded New Orleans Mardi Gras parade took place, a tradition that still continues today. Louisiana is not is uh, the only state in which Mardi Gras is an actual legal holiday, which is pretty cool. Though elaborate carnival festivities draw crowds in other parts of the U.S. as well, and each region has their own events and traditions. I, I hope you've enjoyed this video about Mardi Gras and the history of Mardi Gras. It was my pleasure to make it, clearly, because I'm wearing, like, beads and, and losing my hair and this. I love Mardi Gras. I love French tradition. And uh, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching everybody.